Hello guys, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the uh, money reading for the Cancer. This is going to be the green moon money reading um, for the last half of the month. Uh, the green moon is on the 22nd, so um, there's going to be some really good money energies in the air. They say it's a hoax, but I'm going to go ahead and play along with it. So Cancer, let's take a look at what's going on for you um, for the full moon or for the last half of April. Uh, we're going to look at your current financial foundation. Um, will money come into Cancer's life very soon? Um, also, we're going to look at um, what projects are going to uh, be the best choice for the Cancer. What money opportunities do you need to wish more closely? Do you need to consider more closely? What project is going to bring in more money? And then the outcome. Alright, so I'm just going to shuffle. Alright, that is enough. So let's go ahead and look at this. Again, it's not going to resonate with every cancer. All right, wonderful. So your first card, Cancer, Hermit. Judging by the other cards, this is a good thing. You're really spending a lot of time doing some introspection and some meditating and some spiritual work. Okay, so this is really a good thing. Um, you are manifesting, you know, uh, whenever you are. And this is a major event for you, okay, because this is really important for you to uh, make sure that you because cancers we can be so sensitive that we do have to I mean this is literally our card I mean sometimes this card can be negative depending on the outer line cards but to be honest with you you know I see it as the cancer the cancer does do a lot of does spend a lot of time alone doing that introspection um, so I do see you meditating and that's a really good thing because it lets you know that you're manifesting as far as what the hermit, the, the major impact that the hermit will have over your career and money um, and finances. Um, it may not be good. You may want to, if you're in a business, make sure that you mingle. Make sure that you, um, you know, not make it all about business. Make sure that you make friends. Um, so this is a time where you're being conservative. Okay. Um usually with the hermit it can mean that you're doing soul searching but um you want to make sure that if you're investing in something that you that you invest in something that has good that has a good track record okay so you just don't want to gamble with your money so if you're a cancer that's on the verge of starting a business or something just make sure that you consider what it is now um at work, you're reaching a point where your success and recognition are within your grasp. So you're going to be recognized for what you're doing. Just make sure that you're organized and, and you're productive. Okay? And then this is going to pay off for you. Also, making sure you do the right thing even if nobody is watching you. Okay? Make sure that you are watching yourself because you're always watching what you're doing. Okay? So card number two is will money be coming into your life very soon? Cancer, and I would say yes. Um, this is a literal person. It can stand for either you or someone else. This is someone uh, very stable financially. Um, if you're a Cancer, this could be husband. This could be a financial advisor. Um, someone dealing with money on some level. Okay, so this answer is yes. This is a very good sign when it comes to money. Um, as far as work, so this, this could be someone on your job that's going to serve as a mentor. You can definitely trust them. And with, as far as your finances, this is a really good sign. 
So you're going to discover some talents about yourself that can, that are going to lead to more money, okay? Again, Cancer, if you've ever thought about starting your own business, this is a good time to start taking the steps, okay? You don't want to jump <clears throat> head first into it. You want to take baby steps. Um, but just don't hesitate to dream big, but just make sure that you cultivate it the correct way, okay? Card number three is um i think it's what opportunities money opportunities that you may wish to consider more closely and you got the two of coins so it can't get any more blatant than that um i would say that this is about you know balancing life and work and so as you can see the belly dancer is able to hold these coins up okay and juggle them because she's not necessarily balancing them but she's juggling them which is i guess sort of the same thing but um what she is doing is she is using the skill that she has using her own talents to achieve that balance so whatever it is that is your niche your individual niche is what you need to go after that's the money opportunity you need to go after the one that you know you can do the one that's familiar to you you know something that that you enjoy doing okay because us cancers have a tendency to get bored quick <laughs> with um you know repetitiveness and stuff like that so um card number four is who or what project will bring in more money and you did get an ace of wands so that's pretty interesting this is some sort of new beginning and new start um it often indicate it often indicates the conception or the birth of a little boy um the ace of wands but it can be a new beginning we're not talking about love but i mean you can see certain people come out this could be something that you planted a long time ago and now the seeds are growing okay so whatever that opportunity is you need to keep at it and there is a new beginning that just happened i can definitely see that especially with the hermit card coming up As far as what projects or opportunities, I would say, again, it would be something that comes from you, something that resonates in your heart is what you need to pursue. And this thing does not, <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Okay, so moving on to the final card, Cancer. You got the Knight of Wands, so you got some good news coming, some very fast news involving money coming. Um, last half of, of April, in particular during the full moon, which is the 22nd. So in this week leading up to the full moon, you're going to be getting a message um, as far as finances are concerned. Um, I can definitely see money coming very quickly <clears throat> with this card. Um, the Knight of Wands is a very fast night, so this is metaphorical energy. This is movement, okay? These are positive messages. Um, some of you Cancers might be asked to travel in connection with your job. Not many of you are going to do it. Not many of you have jobs that require you to travel because we're such homebodies, but it's a possibility depending on what's in your chart. Um, money is going to be flowing very easily for you with this card coming up, okay? But save some and also cut your expenses where you can, okay? Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this green money reading. If you want a more personalized reading, um, the link is in the video description box. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up this video and make sure that you subscribe. Have a wonderful day, Cancer. Bye.